Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Tara and I are here today to talk to you about a couple fantastic books that we think you might also love. Now, we're still going with that theme of animals for Tales and Tales, and I've got two books today that are just absolutely fantastic. One is a little bit of an older book, one is brand new, maybe you've heard of either of them, um, but I hope that you will try one or both of them because they are absolutely fantastic. So the first one is called The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. Um, and this is a book that you wouldn't think would be a beautiful story because it's about the Holocaust. It's about World War II. But it is a beautiful story. And this it, it's based on a true story. And that's the other thing that's fantastic about this. So this book is about two Polish zookeepers who end up saving over 300 Jewish people during the Holocaust. And the way they do that is because they hide them in their zoo and put them in cages and pretend that they are animals. They have names on them like they are animals. The animals are named after people. It is just so unbelievable that you would think it's something made up, but it's totally not. It's an absolutely true, true story. Um, it is heartwarming. It is harrowing. Um, it's just absolutely phenomenal. It will just, when you read this, it will take on a whole new meaning when you go into it realizing that this is a real story, real people are involved. Um, obviously, the author wrote it and added some fictional elements to the story. Um, but this is real. This was really th a thing that happened. And there's a movie also, I believe. I haven't seen it. Um, I've heard good things about it, though. Um, so if you want to read the book and try the movie at the same time, that could be something that you might want to try. Um, but this is just, it's such a fantastic story, like I said. Um, it's unbelievable um, what these people had to go through in this ingenious way that they were able to save all these people. Wonderful story. If you like history, if you like historical fiction, um, if you like reading about true accounts of things that happened during the war, absolutely try this book. If you like animals, <laughs> obviously, um, read this book. This is, it's absolutely fantastic. And that is The Zookeeper's Wife by Diane Ackerman. Now, this next book is so near and dear to me. I just read it um, this past week and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it's called World of Wonders. And the author, I'm going to butcher her name. I know it's Amy Nezu, Nezukamatathil. Nezukamatathil, Amy. Um, World of Wonders. First of all, look at this cover. I was drawn to this book because I saw it in Barnes & Noble. Um, and it had won some kind of award through Barnes & Noble. Like their best book of the year or something like that. And I was really, you know, intrigued. Because it's a really thin book. It's nonfiction. A lot of times for me, nonfiction is hit or miss. I do love it, um, but I have to really be interested in the topic or the person writing about it to get involved in it. Um, so this book, I do love animals, so I thought I'm going to give it a try. It's just really short, um, right? And I'm so glad I did. If you read any one book this year, make it this one. This book is absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, it's really short. It's less than 200 pages. Um, and it's very easy to read in that it's broken up into short essays. And each essay is about an animal, a plant, an insect. But it also relates back to this author's life. Um, talking about how she grew up as, you know, a brown-skinned child um, surrounded by white kids and how hard that was for her and her sister and her family. Um, it talks about all those kinds of things that she had to go through, those conflicts growing up um, and the prejudice and biases and racism that she's had to, um, that she's been faced with growing up. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. It's also about her, her marriage, how she loves her husband, her two children. Um, it's just the way she relates these essays to her own life is just unbelievable. But not only that, um, a lot of times I feel like nonfiction can be very, can be very bloated or can be very, um, you know, cold and just, it's just the writing. But this is, is lyrical. It's beautiful. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I want to read you uh, just a little snippet from the chapter about fireflies and also oh yes I can't forget this the end of each the beginning of each chapter rather has a little picture of the thing she's talking about so obviously with the firefly you know what a firefly is but there's a lot of plants um, uh, that she talks about a lot of flowers that maybe you're just not familiar with and even things you are familiar with like she's got a chapter a beautiful chapter on octopuses um, but they're just beautiful illustrations so here is just a tiny snippet from the Firefly chapter. 
When the first glimmer pop of firefly light appears on a summer night, I always want to call my mother just to say hello. The bibliography of the firefly is a tender and electric dress, a small flame sputtering in the ditches along the highway, and the elytra covering the hind wings of the firefly lift like a light leather, suppler than any other beetles. In flight, it is like a loud laugh, the kind that only appears in summer. With the stink of meat sizzling somewhere down the street, and the mouths of neighborhood children stained with popsicle juice and hinging open with the excitement of a ball game or tag. And all of these essays are like this. They're only like a few pages long. They're beautiful. Um, and you're going to learn a lot too. I learned a lot about different animals and plants and fruits even. Um, she talks about these oranges. She talks about dragon fruit. Um, you're just, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to be completely mesmerized by the beauty of her writing. And you're going to just fall in love with this, with these essays. Um, so like I said, if you, even if you're not super into animals, a lot of the animals she talks about are like really strange. Um, like the uh, ribbon eel, the electric ribbon eel, and um, just a lot of things that you're like, why are you writing about this? But she makes them beautiful. Um, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to just fall in love with the story. And even just look at this cover. It's just so beautiful. Like I said, if you read one book this year, make it this one. It is so worth it and absolutely phenomenal. And again, it's short. You'll get through it really quickly, I promise. Well, that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope that they sound really awesome and wonderful. If so, please feel free to get them from the Farmington Community Library. You can check them out through curbside um, or come into the building and, and say hi to us. Come, say, come and visit us. We'd love to see you. Thanks a lot, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.